What's going on, my YouTube brothers and sisters? Uh, don't mind the noise. I've got some coffee going over here in the corner. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys. This came in yesterday. Just after I got home from work, it was sitting on my door. Uh, it was kind of late, obviously, so I didn't open it up. But uh, you noticed that little sign down from Northern Brewer. So we got some good stuff going on here. Uh, I'm about to do an unboxing. So let's just see what we got here. Slice a little bit of tapey. Slice a little bit of tape here. Slice a little bit of tape here. Bam! The tape is done. The box is open. Put that knife away. Let's see what we got going on here, guys. Paper! Hey, cool! I got some paper! Ah, there we are. Most recent Northern Brewer catalog. These guys are great. They have always been good to me. There is our yeast packet. Safe Ale US05 American Ale Yeast. That stuff is really good. It's good down to about probably 9.5% alcohol because there is a... Uh, there is a limit on the amount of alcohol certain yeast strains will produce. You got to make sure you check that before you start doing stuff. Here we have the hops. That's the recipe for the speckled heifer. This is the base of what I'm going to make. I'm making kind of a, a custom brew. I don't even remember what kind of hops this is. <laughs> I'll find it out when I open the bag. But uh, there's the hops for it. There's the uh, the instructions, which are going to go to the side, because I'm going to I'm brewing a custom brew, so I don't have to worry about those. Ooh, uh, some Belgian aromatic malts, because I am using that kit as a base to make a Belgian style IPA. A little bit more brewers, uh, two row brewers malt. That's just going to bulk up the ABV a little bit. Ta da! And we've got some Caramel 60L. That's going to give it a little bit of caramel flavor, bulk up the uh, color a little bit. And then here we have the speckled heifer recipe. All of the grains for that. So I'm going to be doing an all-grain brew. I'm going to be doing that as a brew in a bag. Let's just pull this up real quick so I can give you guys a quick look at what we got going on for... The instructions and ingredients. Hold on just a moment. I'll be right back while I open this up. All right, so it is cluster hops that came with that kit. Uh, we are also going to be using some German tradition hops, some German spalt mops, got some leftover Czech Seas from another recipe that I made, and then this is a big bulk bag of Cascade hops which are really good for IPAs. And then our little instruction set here. Shows you what else we've got for ingredients. So we've got a pound and a half of two row, half a pound of breeze carapels, quarter pound of flaked barley, quarter pound of flaked maize, and then there's the hops, safe ale yeast, so again, this is like, this would have been, if I had just used the kit, this would have been the uh, the beer that I would have made. Would have been a, uh, it's a spotted cow clone, but you know, and it's just a cream ale. And again, I'm going to be adding more hops and and more malt and different types of malt. And that's going to turn that, that cream ale style into more of an IPA. So I'm kind of excited to get this started and I will see you guys in a little bit. 